Route 39 or Lingleton Road starts at the Susquehanna River and runs through much of Dauphin County. So how do you control the traffic problems on such a wide stretch of a road and control some of the land development in the area? Well, Dauphin County is going to give it a shot. Maybe you've tried to make a turn onto Route 39 from 6th Street to Susquehanna Township. Or you're crawling in bumper to bumper traffic through Lower Paxton Township on your way to the grocery store. Dauphin County is hoping to improve these conditions and plan for the future with a traffic study underway through HRG Engineering. It was just a conversation of a group of us, uh, engineering firm and then some people in the community. We were talking about the difficulties we've seen with some of the intersections along, you know, it's a broad quarter, but roughly the 39 quarter and then all the streets that come into it. And it's a big stretch of road to include in one project. So the area that we're looking at is extends from the Susquehanna River uh, through Susquehanna Township, Lower Paxton Township, West Hanover, and South Hanover Township. Uh, so it's through those four municipalities along Route 39, and, and then we're also doing 743, uh, the entire limits within East Hanover Township. So, so the project as a whole spans five municipalities. Uh, we have the, the western portion of the corridor is more has more commercial development, has more residential development, a little bit more uh, build up. Uh, certainly as a result of that has a little bit more uh, traffic congestion, uh, safety concerns. As you get more to the eastern end of the corridor, it, it's more of a rural character. Uh, not as high traffic volumes, but you still do have high traffic speeds and, and potential uh, site distance and, and safety issues at, at, at some intersections there as well. The Rockville United Methodist Church is located at the corner of Lingelstown Road and 6th Street, and that is one of the troubled intersections engineer Eric Stump pointed to. Well, there's just a lot of traffic, particularly on 39 and the speed. They, you know, it seems like the speed is a lot more than 35 than they travel on 39. And then getting the traffic off of 6th Street gets to be a little hectic when you're turning left toward the river coming, coming up 6th Street. Traffic seems to flow through rural West and South Hanover Townships where traffic is free flowing and things are wide open. But that won't always be the case. Development is coming. So we felt the need to get ahead of it. Um, and it was difficult, as we said here, it would be difficult for South Hanover, who's at one end of the corridor, to be coordinating with Susquehanna on this end of the corridor. It's just not, that's just not what happens. And trying to make a better flow of traffic through those municipalities, really looking at quarters, not municipalities, we felt it was important to do a study and get ahead of the game. This is not just a traffic study, though. It is also looking at the future of development, which goes hand in hand with traffic. So anytime a land use change occurs, then um, typically there's roadway improvements. That roadway, Those roadway improvements are made and address the site-specific area, but do not consider the whole corridor in general. Uh, and then those improvements then um, provide more opportunities for more land use changes to occur adjacent and along that corridor. Uh, then that compounds the corridor to have more traffic issues and then um, either the township or PennDOT may come in and make roadway improvements and increase the, the, the traffic or increase the, the flow of the traffic through all the intersections and, and roadways. And then that is then identified as a good area to, for development because the traffic flows through and then you're back to square one again because those land values go up and um, people want to build there. And so what we're hoping to do is to um, consistently look at both the land use and the traffic patterns and then blend them to the point that they complement each other in the future as opposed to conflicting. A public meeting will be held June 5th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the South Hanover Township Municipal Building to gather public input on the plan, and then the plan should be uh, ready to be revealed by October. This is Penn Life reporter Steve Maroney reporting.